this is Quake Crew from Next Gen Windows bringing you another Windows 8.1 app review. This app review is going to be Open Table. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of this application or have heard of Open Table in general. It's a very popular app. Basically, what it is is it allows you to, uh, you know, find tables at restaurants before you even show up and book reservations for them ahead of time. So, for instance, if we want to choose, um, if we want to choose, let's find, uh, let's see. And we're looking for a Friday, so let's let's go ahead in the future and go to say Friday, November twenty, November eighth, Friday, November eighth. Apparently this Friday uh, a movie comes out, so that's pretty good. But aside from the point, uh, if we want to say at seven p.m. party size of three. Let's go with three. No, let's let's go with the party size of four. And we don't have a specific restaurant name because say if you're new to the area like I am, we can find a table for that finds your area and then it finds uh, restaurants in your area which are these two it gives you an average you know cost of how much they cost the food cost there this this is about you know out of three uh, dollar signs uh, it's a two so it's pretty moderately priced you can see the various times that are available currently uh, 630 637 and 730 currently it's 637 so clearly you'd probably choose the 7 p.m. one so when we go there we can just click uh, 7 and then if we sign into open table let's reserve as a guest actually I'm not gonna reserve as a guest because I'm not about to go to this restaurant so let me hit cancel and go out of here now we are here and we can also view the menu if they have one so we have view menu it'll actually take you to their website if they have one to view the menu but it'll take you to open tables website uh, and then you can view their menu here see how expensive things cost for instance uh, this polo la bella uh, costs about eighteen dollars so that's how much you'll pay for that and then if you decide to snap open table back you can put it on the side and just look you know just correspond on the, on the Internet Explorer website of them and see you know whether you decide to really want this or not which is a cool thing you can do uh, also before I even go back to this application you guys probably have a question about uh, why does Google Chrome look like this in uh, your metro style or your modern UI it's because Google did that. They made it so it's similar to Chrome OS, but that's another video. Back to Open Table. Uh, you can view, you can read reviews on the website, which will probably take you to Open Table's other section. You can click to Food Spotting, and basically, people who took pictures of their food when they went there. This was last spotted 515 days ago, so that's a pretty long time ago. If you decide to go there, please take more pictures. It just makes the experience of using Open Table a lot more fun. Uh, and then you can click on it. Well, you should have been able to click on it. I guess you can't. But I w then I will say I wish you could click on the uh, photos to make them bigger. Take up your whole screen. You know that way you can see close images on what the food looks like. So far, so good. Looks pretty good. The wine looks like it tastes pretty good. And you know you can see getting there. Uh, you click on that, and it'll take you to the maps application, which will uh, you can route where you are, and it takes you where they where the restaurant is. So that's pretty cool. So let's close out of here. And you can see right here also, you know, it tells you a little bit about it. Uh, and it just tells you, it's, it's a pretty cool thing. It tells you food spotting things, people take pictures of things, allows you to make reservations ahead of time. It tells you the style of food it is, which is amazing. You can read reviews on their website. Uh, basically, this app is mainly just for. Um, just for reserving uh, all the extra functions pretty much take you to the website um, and food spotting is not that great all it does is just blow it up a tiny bit more which is like the same size as this is already uh, slightly a bit a little bit bigger actually but still relatively small I wish it was full screen but it's a pretty cool part of the app experience for the application it tells you whether there's parking uh, which is a no which doesn't make any sense um, payment options and then tells you casual dining. I think payment options if you choose a time. And if we go back, we can see other places, say um, Norfolk Chop House. Parking style valet, so you get a valet to park your car for you. Uh, fine dining style, fine dining. I have a feeling this will be very expensive. There's no food spotting for this one, but obviously it's because nobody has taken a picture on it yet. Times available, same layout. Uh, if you if you're for two, you can see times available. These are just within an hour the times available. So if it turned to be um, seven o'clock, you would see all the way up to eight o'clock. 
uh, in 30 minute increments. You can read the view the menu here, read reviews on their website. Then you can see your payment options this time. So apparently, payment options if these options here is only if the website tell if their um, if the restaurant tells you about it. So currently, the last web the last so restaurant didn't tell you anything about parking or payment options. This one did. They're, they seem up to date. They even put a picture here, so that seems pretty cool. Um, you can see uh, some a word about the chop house. Pretty cool. And then of course you can you know view more. You can also when you right click or swipe in from the bottom or top, it brings you this extra stuff here, which lets you jump to tonight for two, or find the table. So we can go to say pin for pin to start, and it'll pin to start the start screen this this restaurant. That way, if it's say a frequent goer for you and your and whoever else you decide to go with, you always have it right on your start screen. You can just tap it, go to it, pick your reservation time pick your party size, pick your day, and you'll have it set in and stone, you're ready to go. You never have to think about uh, have I put in a reservation ever again. So let's go back to the main screen. Here's the main screen. Uh, it's got the same thing here. My favorite, sign in to open table, create or add favorites. Uh, you can see recently viewed, my open table, all these things pretty much tell you uh, when these, a lot of these options open up once you sign in. I have not created an account, so Clearly, uh, I will only get tonight for two. But if you guys or anyone was to create an account, um, you you can customize you know more deeply into what you can do. So you can say tonight for six or tomorrow for seven or whatever it is, uh, all the way up to twenty people. If you're if you're that amazing and you have twenty people that you go out with at a time to a re fine dining restaurant, go for it. I would even like to see pictures of that because that'll be pretty amazing. Twenty people going to a giant a restaurant. But aside from the point is, this is Open Table. Uh, Open Table is a restaurant reservation application, and it actually gives you a little bit of reviews and information about it based on the users that went to the website and went to the restaurant. So also you can uh, snap view while I show you guys that. That's what it looks like there. It looks like it smooths pretty smoothly. Uh, let's go to find a table. Okay, you can see that. All right try zooming out on the map okay so far try zooming out some more so apparently the restaurants aggregate based on how zoomed out on the map you are so if I zoom out all the way this much you'll see tons and tons of restaurants show up the more I zoom in the more it only, it only shows what is currently on the map which is a pretty cool feature it's a good thing they did that and let's see if they have optimized it for 8.1 no they have not so that's something they probably should get a jump on but essentially, yes, let's go back to uh, the main screen here. Also, last thing, actually, one thing I just realized I skipped when I right-clicked just now is uh, in this screen, when you're searching for restaurants at certain times, uh, if you right-click or swipe in, you get these extra things here. And these are things like, uh, you know, you can find, pick which cuisine you want to do. So if you're looking for Italian food or whatever, you can go ahead and choose that. And you can see restaurants, Italian, La Bella, and the Ghent. Uh, you can see that that's Italian food. You can pick the neighborhood that you want to be in. Obviously, it's Norfolk, and you can see the price range. So if you want to pay extra, uh, you can click the extra dollar signs, whichever one you decide to choose. Also, you can choose things like uh, the exact time that you want to be there. You want a restaurant. You want the reservation to be, or whatever the, whatever you decide to choose. And also, if there's extra, like if I zoom out a lot more and scroll down here can see things like uh, let's try to get this more restaurants on here there we go you can see things like uh, you know you can sort by the cuisines so, or sort by the name so uh, obviously L is before M so if we click by name L will be before M somehow the pictures are exactly the same but what the heck uh, and also clearly I was almost wrong but I wasn't uh, still in the one hour increment but essentially, finally, this is the very end of this app review. This has been Open Table. It's a pretty nice looking application. It looks nice and clean. Uh, now, a thing that I'm going to nag about, which you guys like, probably like my nagging. Uh, I wish they could do more with the background. Uh, the last app review I did, if you check that out, uh, their background shifted as you scrolled. And that's something I would like to see in Windows 8 you know, apps in the future. It's just little more animations in the background to you know catch the eye of the viewer or the or the user and that's something that's just cool to have and makes Windows 8 
apps look a lot nicer and feel a lot more premium. Uh, but yeah, this has been Quaker from Next Gen Windows, and this has been Open Table, an 8.1 app review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.